Today in this video, I'm going to show you like how you can make a hamburger or how I say hamburger or how I say I don't know how to say uh, how you can make this type of menu bar yourself. And if you see this menu bar almost responsive, like if you visit this thing uh, using mobile phone, if you see the sidebar that I'm showing you, it's almost responsive. So in this video, I will show you how you can do it and how you can make headers absolutely free. I'll show you all the things in this video. So the first step, I'm just showing you how you can create this hamburger menu. And then in the second step, I will show you how you can create a header photo. Okay. So to create the hamburger menu, hamburger, that is a hamburger menu. So you have to install an additional plugin. Its name is full screen menu for Elementor. To install this plugin, you have to go here, your plugins option and just click on add new button. Search here the plugin name and install this plugin like this one and activate this plugin. When you successfully activate this plugin, then you have to go your um, the paid it page. Like, where do you want to add the hamburger menu? You have to go there. Okay. So as you can see, I already add the hamburger menu. So I'm not going to add this again. So I'm just showing you how we can do it. Okay. So here at the search widget option, you have to search full. Just search full. Okay. If you will, then you will get this widget here. And what you have to do? Just drag and drop. Just drag and drop here. And then the content, you have to select the menu bar, uh, content type is menu, yeah, with menu. And selected menu is like your menu bar that you already created. So if you not understand what is the menu, then you have to go here, appearance, then go to menu. So I'm just talking about this one, this one, I'm just talking about this one, okay? So you have to select this thing. And if you go to here, the style, then you can easily style it. So for default, you will get something like, and now we have to customize this thing. So here the size, how much size you want, you can do it from here and how much space you want, how much thickness you want, everything you can do. So in my case, I just add the four and the thickness and the space, uh, it's about uh, 10. Yeah, the 10, it's okay. T 30, 10 and four. And now if you go to the overlay, um, then, okay. So if you not understand what is the overlay, let me click on this arrow, then you'll see. If I click on there, now as you can see, it's something like no overlay, nothing here. So if I go to overlay and if I make something here as like red and if I change this thing, now this is called the overlay. So which type of color do you want? You can set up from here. And if you want to set up any kind of gradient color, also you can set up. And if you want to set up uh, an image, background image, if you have already, then you can set up it here. Okay, so let's go to the text. The text means that we already see the black text. Let me change it to white then you will understand what is the text. This is called the text and now it's looking good. But if you see the whole website color, then it's not matched. So we'll change it, no problem. And if you hear, see here the hover option, the hover color, if you not understand what is the hover color, that means, okay, so let's open the menu and on the hover, then as you can see, the color is now almost changed. So this is called hover color. So I hope guys, now you can do it yourself. And this is the simple thing. And this is the thing available and there nothing special here. That's it. And here's some additional, uh, you know, the setting is available. If you go to this advanced, then you can see, but I'm not going to do anything else here because it's okay and it's okay for me. And if you see the toggle align, you can change it to center or right anywhere you want. That's it. And one thing, uh, you don't have to worry about the responsiveness. You don't have to worry about this. Okay. So it's automatically fit everywhere. So the hamburger menu is now it's okay. Now I hope you can do it yourself. And now let's focus on the header. And so again, go to here, the plugins and click on add new and search Elementor header and footer. Okay. Header. Okay. So let me search Elementor. Just search this thing. Elementor header, footer and blocks. Just this thing. And install this plugin. It's come from Brainstorm Force Nikhil Chavan, I think. They are the owner. Uh, this plugin come from there. Okay, so when you successfully install this plugin, if you hover on here the appearance and element to header and footer, then you will get this option if you install this plugin successfully. Then, okay. Now we are going to create our header. And so we are coming to here, and now you have to click on here the add new button. Just click on here the add new button. And then you will get something like, and now we have to add here the title. It's about like the header. It's a main header. Let's type main header. Now we have to choose which type of template do you want to create? It's about like a header. It's not a footer, not anything else, you know. It's a header. 
So it's like hitter and display on. Why do you want to display it? Mm, every higher I want to display all posts, all page, every higher I just want to display this thing. So all pages I set up and if I go to this display rules again, I can set up all archive. Also, let me save here all post. Also, mm, what do I want? Everywhere I want my template elementor everywhere. I want All landing page everywhere. I just set up this thing. Okay now user role which type of user do you want to see this thing? Okay, so everyone everyone let's add user. It's about like um, Everyone I just say already all But I don't know specifically what happened here. Mm, let me select this thing and just close this uh, Let me go to add it's about select and okay let's see let's publish this thing because i don't know what happened if i not set up this user roles uh if i not set up then what happened i don't know i don't have any idea about this because i just forget everything so let's publish this thing and let's create a first header and then we'll we'll discuss about this like what happened in there okay let's go to edit with elementary just click on the button all right so we get the blank page and now we are going to take two how i say Two, 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 two column or all? <laughs> oh, it's column. Now we have to put our logo here. And now I don't have a logo, so let me copy something from here. I just copy and go back here and just paste it. We get the logo. And let me copy here the widget because uh, I've already created the widget and I'll already show you how to create this, so I'm not going to repeat it again. So I paste it here and we got the thing. And if I click on the arrow, now it's looking pretty much. Okay, it's looking good. And now let's see the uh, mobile version. Oh, all right, one thing. In mobile version, I hope you will get something like the year. So let me show you how you can fix this. Just click on the column, the main, main, main icon. And if you see here, the column width. How much we do you want? So let me save here the 10. Oh, it's not 10, not perfect. I think, let me set up here uh, 30. Okay, 30 is okay. And let's go back out of the widget and it's about 7 70 okay let's click on the arrow and let's see how it's looking yeah it's looking perfect yo man it's looking perfect and if i see it on something other then i can do it okay okay guys now i hope guys you understand this thing and, and this is very simple to create an amenable and let me update this thing and let's see is this apply, uh, applied everywhere or not? Because this is a simple maneuver, it's nothing special. I'm not showing this domain name because of like, this is for my course, I'm not designing a website in there, that's why I'm not sharing this thing. But unfortunately, the maneuver is not working here. Okay, let's see what happened in there, what, what happened in the behind the scene, let's see. Let's again go to your, the appearance and go to their, the elementary header and photo builder, because I think we make something mistake there. Let's click on the edit button. Because you know, I was forget to add the rules. I mean, why we just uh, who which of people will see this thing? So I was forget to add this thing. Administrator, or I just set up the all. Mm, yeah, basic all. Okay, so I think this is okay. This is okay now, and let's update this thing. Okay, so as you can see, it's work as well. If you see here, it's working as well. Um, before we're not seeing because of like if you see uh, another page it's about like full widget so I changed the uh, how I say I changed this page layout that's why you are not getting this um, you know the maneuver because I changed the page layout to full canvas that's why because uh, if you see this page it's uh, about something different this is one kind of one page website and a simple information website so that's why uh, I'm not going to make the maneuver here Okay guys, I hope you understand and you get a simple idea how to create hum ba 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 burger menu. I hope guys now you get a clear idea and if you think this video helpful for you, please thumbs up, give me a thumbs up and comment below, I save your time. And if you want to create any kind of website and if you need any kind of pro services, then you can go get WP Expert, just talk to him about your problem. I hope they will help you for building your website or problem fixing everywhere, they will help you. Thank you so much.